Hey, Marcus Bronzy here from How To Kill An Hour. Now, a couple of weeks before this video dropped, we were invited to a secret location in London to get our hands on the brand new Saints Row game. So off we went to an undisclosed location, to a room full of PCs to get our hands on a build that is very close to the final version of Saints Row. So here's what happened when we went down there and got our hands on this game. Right, so here I am with a fan behind me, which is blaring away. But um, that shouldn't matter too much because what it's all about is the gameplay today. So here we are about to jump into Saints Row. Um, this is probably the closest version that we'll get to the version that's out for release because it's very close to release date. I'm just scrolling through all of the terms and conditions. And I'm going to show you what I can show you today. There's certain bits that I have to cut out, obviously not to mess up the experience for you, but let's jump in. So here we are. I've currently got a fan behind me because it's still quite hot in London and I'm about to go for a heat wave. I'm in the coolest spot in the house. However, there's a bit of a fan noise. So you might hear me turning the mic on and off. That doesn't matter too much. Let's jump into this brand new Saints Row game. I'm gonna show you as much as I can show you. This is as close to the final build as I think we're gonna get. There are some spoilers I'm gonna miss out, but let's check out the brand new Saints Row game. So the first thing that you come across is the boss factory mode, or shall I say the first thing that I can show you uh, is where you upload your customized characters now we've already done this i've already done a whole video on this so i won't spend too long on it but the scope for this is ridiculous and it seems that once a few people have got their hands on this boss factory mode there were some really funky avatars out there so it's well worth checking those out if you don't want to make your own or if you want to go for a hyper realistic version of yourself you can take the time to make that too so yeah once we got that out of the way we were thrust into the game and thrust into the game we definitely were <laughs> as you can see things kick off quite crazy Jesus Christ, it's my first day. yeah and it's our first day on the job and we literally are thrown in to a massive war and this is a great way for us to get our hands around the controls which are pretty much what you'd expect from a third person like this you kind of run around use your trigger buttons to aim and fire there is a, a lock-on mode that is pretty decent as well which you can turn off in the settings if you wish to do so or if you want to focus on the ridiculous storylines and gameplay you can lock on to your targets a little bit easier by leaving that set on uh, i left that on because i just wanted to crack on um in terms of first impressions this did feel very saints row which is an action-packed story which gets a little bit crazier and, and more insane as we move through the storyline. I mean, even in the first mission, you end up balancing on a fighter jet whilst taking out some enemies. I mean, this is typical Saints Row. Let's take things up to 10. <laughs> and then afterwards, let's go to 15 and 20 in terms of how ridiculous can this storyline go. In terms of weapons, you've got quite an interesting selection. You just kick off with a pistol and an assault rifle. And I did manage to unlock some other more powerful weapons, like some shotguns and such. Um, I didn't manage to find anything that was as out there as we've seen in previous Saints Row games. I mean, there's been sex toys. There's a, There was a dubstep gun that people really liked. But I'm hoping as um, I get to play more of the game, we do see some funkier weapons out there. In terms of vehicles in the game, there is a plethora that you can pick up, nick and store in your own garage as you'd expect in a game like this. Uh, you can also hop out of your vehicle whilst you're driving it and shoot at people from the top of it. You can shoot people from inside it as well. And there's also a drift feature that we've got where you can drift your vehicle and also side swipe it to kind of take other vehicles off the road as well. But all of these together, you can have some pretty cool car chases and also make sure you can take out enemies in a multitude of different ways. And as well as the sports cars and motorcycles, there's also other <laughs> vehicles, as you can see, which are a little bit more out there as well. So you can get construction vehicles. There's monster trucks around there with massive wheels. And of course, you can customize your vehicles throughout the game as well. So you can get your head around the sheer massive things there are to do in Saints Row. They've structured it with your kind of conventional main storyline that you can follow and then a bunch of side missions which really show you the different aspects of the game you can get your teeth into. Whether it's uh, a little bit more action, doing some surveillance, whether it's um, just absolutely tearing up a place with some ridiculous guns or you can commit some insurance fraud where you make a claim for being hit. As you can see, this is a 
classic example of Saints Row taking it to the nth degree, kind of being really cartoony with the action there where, you know, you're getting hit by loads of cars and blowing them up. Obviously, not realistic per se, but that's this what this game is about. It's about being really, really out there with its ideas. You know, one minute you're trying to commit insurance fraud and get hit by 10 cars at the same time. Next minute, you're jumping out of a helicopter to put explosives on the roof of a building. And these are literally the intro kind of missions in this game. So hopefully it gets crazy and crazier and crazier because in previous Saints Row games, we have seen, you know, aliens, spaceships, a dubstep gun. So it would be good to see more stuff like that as the game progresses how 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 wacky can they get well, that remains to be seen one thing i do like is the charge to finishing move you can see a little purple thing goes up on your screen you hit a button and you can take out an enemy with a cool special move like that it kind of varies and you can unlock new ones as well as unlocking special attacks as well like putting a grenade in someone's pants and throwing them at their friends and whilst it's not graphically knocking me over with hyper realism i kind of understand that that's not what saints row is about it's kind of something that wants you to just get involved in a little bit of action a little bit of fun and a little bit of being silly which there's no harm in doing when you're playing games nowadays so if you're up for something that is a bit out there, a bit silly, then maybe this Saints Row is for you. I'm going to look forward to getting my hands on the final version of it. And of course, I'll be dropping a video with more information about what you can do in the game, further missions, and see if there is anything like a dubstep gun in this version of Saints Row. I'll be Marcus Bronzy. Any questions about Saints Row, do drop them in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with us.